Hi. Tech Rabbit here again. Just um, a little bit um, different video this one. Uh, a bit on programming. Um, have you ever wanted to experiment with C++ or possibly other programming languages? And you also want to have some possibility to um, have the code compiled on uh, Windows 10 so you can be pretty sure it will also run on uh, Linux, for example. Um, and you don't want to go to the extent of installing um, Visual Studio from Microsoft, even if they, um, they have a free version that you can install, because it really is, in my experience, a little bit too large for small-scale experimentation. So anyway, what I can could recommend is um, to have a look at MSYS2, because this will um, uh, basically give you a um, a compiler environment with, um, we're going to be mostly focusing on the C++ compiler, which you can also install other compilers from the package manager. And, and this is a kind of a blending of a system called MSYS and um, SUGWIN. And this basically, in theory, tries to give you the best of two worlds. <laughs> so I thought I'd just walk you through installing it and um, doing the first Hello World um, compile. It's already downloaded, so we can just... Um, I'll put the link uh, in the description. So let's get this installed. So this produces 64-bit code. Or it's an environment for 64-bit code. The nice thing with this environment is actually has a built-in um, package manager, manager called Pacman, so that you can just um, add and remove and maintain packages like uh, like you, you you usually do with um, a package manager. So Pacman, now it's installed. I'll just select to run it. display you get quite some text so you can actually change it in options update text Bash 10 terminal. So the next step is to update the packages. And let's um, take a look. You see here now, this is the nice thing about this that it actually, oops, actually does have um, package manager support. So let's just run these commands. So update the package database and core system packages. This was a little bit unexpected, now it's um, stopped without creating Pac-Man with this text. So 
I'm assuming that it's asking me just to close. Access to without returning to shell and check for updates again. For example, closure to run the window instead of calling exit. Okay. Oh, okay, I had to kill it then. That wasn't so, so nice. Looked like it was intentional though, because the message was formatted in such a way that made it look like it was. <laughs> and the wanted one to do exactly that, just kill the terminal and start it again, upgrade again. Okay, let me see if this works out. Okay, that seemed to run through. Let's see what we actually have. System. And this is what actually what happened, so it was actually had to force force to close the terminal. Okay. And probably would be a good idea to restart. Of course it's not good enough to do that, okay. Okay, let's get installed. Let's start doing some testing. Okay, the C plus plus compiler stuff is not installed by default, so then we actually have to use this command to install the base development package. The C++ compiler and then Vim and CMake. Or I suggest you have Vim and CMake also at the same time. plus the bottom environment loud, except if you want to do SSL development or encryption related development then you need to download more stuff. And of course now we should make a hello world app. As you see here we have an empty home directory and then you wonder okay where do I find this on my Windows machine but it's under the directory where this is, gets installed. So 
use whatever text editor to create files here and then you can compile them there and I'll give you an example of create a hello world app. So I just um, copy paste to the hello world demo in there. And it's in the home directory which you find here or under your own username. If you GCC it, if you get C just the default, <laughs> you can compile C, but then you not. So, anyway, here we have the executable, and this is like a Windows compatible executable, so uh, you can actually run it. Set it up here, the shortcut for the terminal. Okay, we'll do this way. So if we just take a command prompt. Oops. Just switch to the drone. Ah, sorry. Windows. set up in this terminal. You can actually do that. And there is a way to get the um, path set up so we'll find them based on um, the LS in this. I wanted to demonstrate that you can actually run the, this is a Windows compatible executable. So you can actually run it but then of course it won't run if you can't find the library. <laughs> Let's see if I can fix that really quick. Okay so the um, Binary DLLs are in this file, and um, just as I just started the um, command prompt from the way I haven't set up the paths into this environment, then I needed to move over, copy over the DLLs needed. I um, shouldn't actually do that. But, um, so here you have the um, Hello World executable, which you can, you just, you can tell the, uh, the actual command level. File name to stop the default is a.exe, but it represents the um, program generated from here. And then it needs these three files to be able to execute. And then, as you see, you can run it in normal Windows under the Win Windows command command prompt if you would like. And, uh, the only reason I did, I'm usually you go into the um, into the uh, MSUS2 console to do everything you do so you, you, you like running the hell, running your applications and stuff but if you would like to actually be able to take your application running on the actual raw windows platform then you can actually do this do this trick you can find out what DLLs it uses uh, and or you could actually look up the um, path settings I think you just need to make a 
basically need to make a path into um, into here. And path, I don't think into here might be into here. I'm not sure there's instructions somewhere where you can find where you can do that. But I, my main intention is to run it in the um, MSYS2 terminal. Anyway, if you found that interesting, anyway, this is a nice environment to be able to just create um, C++ um, code and be able to play around with it. And then also be sure that it's a bit uh, clean C++ code so that you can actually run, probably most likely run it on, on uh, Linux and on the Linux platform also. So anyway, if you like this one, consider subscribing and um, hit the bell icon for more videos and think of sharing this. Uh, with other people. And as I said, the, the, this environment gives you access to install other compilers for various, many different languages. So if you're interested in experimenting on multiple different languages, this is actually a very good platform to do that. So, anyway, see you in the next one.